Okay guys, so we are currently racing to our 7.30 appointment. Why? Because we both snoozed our alarms like six different times. Like an hour. And... We woke up when we were supposed to leave. Yeah, we're so late. It's okay. unreal. How are you feeling? Good. Kind of like sat up, like, like almost like there's like a crunch. You're like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's not completely normal yet. Oh yeah, I had surgery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my abdomen. We'll be right in to talk right. to you about how the surgery went. Hey guys, we're looking at Alex's pictures from the surgery and Dr. Hatch is about to come in. And they are um, incredibly unattractive photos. Um, it's not the best side of me. No, no. The, I don't think the insides of anyone is attractive. How so, about you have your pictures since I don't have my pictures? Yeah. <laughs> are we on? We're on. Hi. <laughs> okay, then the real, I guess, maybe not surprise to you, was I, all the I, endometriosis. I was. I was so you were surprised. Sh you were. And I just cried. I just didn't think that I had endometriosis. I didn't have any pain. No yeah, pain. You complained of stomach pains for years. I guess, but they always were like, st I always thought my stomach. It was had to do with my food, what I was eating, because mm -hmm. it was always really up here. I didn't really have. Like mm -hmm. cramps, I never had. But you have endometriosis even on your diaphragm. Yeah. I mean, the entire in, inner torso cavity yeah. is covered. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's extremely extensive. Yeah. Um, Both ovaries were stuck to the sidewalls. So could the egg probably not well, even get to the fallopian tube? Well, if you know, were stuck? The, well, the, the, let's say the tube couldn't move around as easily to get the egg. It was kind of fixed in a location. Got it. Okay. The the integrity of the tubes themselves was really good. I mean, I couldn't get rid of it all because it's yeah. all over the intestines, the omentum, the diaphragm. I, I did as much as I could safely, but I didn't want to, you know, cause any other inflammation. So this, all this brown, same thing. All yeah. endometriosis. It's like having a paintbrush. Is that normally how endometriosis was, does? Is just splatters like that? Or they can. And the problem is to see this is missed a lot because on ultrasound you need something three dimensional, which right. is what your cyst is. Right. You know, and so I always tell people when I see an endometriosis cyst yeah. that you should do a surgery because this could be the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Because flat patches you'll never see. That looks like a bunch of mush. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Well, that little mush look as good white over here, white over <laughs> pre uterus. <laughs> you're gonna you're the best you're ever gonna be. Right. Right now. Right. You could actually buy a little bit of time and make things even better by going on a medication that puts you into a, a induced menopause. Did you read about that since you were bullied? I didn't read about it because it sounds like <laughs> hell. <laughs> so she did read about it a little bit. I, I just have the idea of it. I read a little <laughs> tiny bit. Yeah, so um, an endometriosis is fueled by estrogen. Right. Okay, and so if we don't let you have estrogen, it will atrophy the endometriosis. That's your call. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it really impacts your quality of life. Yeah. And you do have a little one at home. You know, you won't sleep well. You're going to be tearful or angry or both. <laughs> uh, I, I, should, I should look at you. She's going to be tearful, angry or both. And guess what? You will never win an argument on Lupron. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> yeah, because estrogen is a female's happy hormone and keeps them sane. No, and so that's one of the things people always ask me. It's like, oh my gosh, is this going to put me in a real menopause? No, absolutely not. Right. Within a week of stopping Lupron, you're back to normal. Stay so we can't bit. just like start IUIs now? No, we can. I'm just, we have to look and see how your sperm is, so. Oh. Tell me how you're really feeling. I don't want to do it. I'd rather just be pregnant forever. So basically what we're saying is being perma prager <laughs> is about the only thing that's going to save this. I remember um, so many moments of, of the beginning of our journey uh, when Kinsley wasn't here. I feel like, oh my gosh, like this is never going to be fun. We're never going to laugh again. We're never going to have fun. And, mm -hmm. and now that we have Kinsley, like we never would have planned, oh my gosh, like having a nine day adoption with our daughter. It's like, it's just insane. But now we look at it and we're like, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. And one of the things uh, that Alex said immediately after surgery while she was a little bit groggy, I asked her, 
and, you know, Alex, I, I'm so sorry. Do you wish that we had done this sooner? And she was like, immediately her answer was no. Uh, we wouldn't have Kinsley if that were the case. And so, what do I do? I really want to know from you guys out there if any of you guys have gone through this or done this. I really want to know what you guys ended up doing. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. That's part of this is, you know, we definitely want to encourage you guys, but yeah. in this moment right now, I yeah. really would love a little bit of encouragement. Yeah. We're going to have tons of kids. They're going to be running around and screaming their head off, and then you're going to have these frustrations, but for different reasons. Why is Philip playing with the kids and jumping all over me at 6 in the morning? That. I love that. I love that more than once. I love that 10 times. 10 kids? I don't know, but something. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do anything out of fear. And I think a lot of our frustrations are, are based in in some fear because we've we've seen how difficult it is and we've seen how frustrating it is. Yeah. But we can't be ruled by our fear. You can't can't like make our decisions based off of it. Okay, so it's negative. Negative so four. There's no antibodies. That's a good thing. Or is that a bad thing? Well it's kind of a bad thing. If if there are antibodies then I can have you collect in a cup and put an enzyme in there to kill the antibodies, so it should allow the sperm to be modal. Um, so let's get a semen analysis and see. I'd like to see six million on a IUI prep of modal sperm. That would be ideal. Okay. Um, I've gotten people pregnant with five hundred thousand right. modal sperm on an IUI. You know, and I've had a number of people over the years that have defied all odds. I have somebody who did three failed IVFs. They said that she needed donor eggs and that he needed donor sperm. And they did acupuncture. Yeah and did uh, Letrozole and IUI with me. They have three kids with me now. Wow. Three. And he had, you know, really What's low Letrozole? sperm counts. So I have definitely learned over the years, if you're open-minded and you're willing to try, but you have to be emotionally realistic. You have to know the stats. You get knocked down enough times, it's hard to stand back up again. Yeah. So you, well, you feel that. To, right, so you have to have your armor on. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But you can't win if you don't play the game either. Right. So you have day three. Give me a card. I can't look at me like that. I'm <laughs> okay, Thank so you. let's at least celebrate the fact that all that time when people didn't know what your stomach pains were, right? You have some answers now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thank you. I believe in miracles. I really do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Kinsley showed us that. Yeah. I love you. We're going to make it through. We're going to do this. So that was not the news we uh, hoped for at all. We're gonna be in a different season where now it's female factor infertility. We, you know, we're so focused on male factor infertility for so long, and we never even really pushed forward to see if it was both of us, um, and it was.